It's my bag time again. I've only got four items this time. There's an item here to review. I don't know what's in these, so I guess we'll find out. We'll be taking a little bit of a look at this and I'll do a follow-up video on this as well. As you can see, it's from Banggood. So there'll be links down below for all this stuff, so make sure you check those out. If it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon, that sort of stuff. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos I'll do. Check out all my other stuff as well. What is this? Curious. Ah, stencil. So this is a rather thin, as you can see. Pretty thin. iPhone 6S. So it's a stencil for iPhone 6S. So if you do any iPhone work, you probably already got one of these things. So I use this for applying solar paste, or even solar walls I suppose, but mostly paste, to various ICs that are inside iPhones in this case. So I think this is about every IC on the board. It has a uh, footprint on this stencil. So if I do iPhone repairs, and I, well, I intend to do some iPhone repairs, if I have to you know, lift anything up and, and redo it, then I've got the option. Um, like here, for example, that's the NAND. I think those two there are CPU, because it's actually a double stacked CPU. I don't know, is that Wi-Fi, that one there? Might be. It's got lots of little chips. Lots of little chips. I thought I'd get one because I don't have one, and there's a potential I might have to uh, replace a Wi-Fi module or something like that at some point, or lift an end off. They're cheap. There'll be links down below for these things. I'll be thinking about my Patreon side of things and what I can do to try and promote that some more. I'll, I'll finish my point, then I'll talk about these. Now, I've been doing some oscilloscope reviews recently. I've done two reviews on a Handtech and a Unity, and I'm thinking about potentially doing some giveaways. That's what's in my head. I might give one away, but what I'd do, if I do a giveaway this time, it would be only to my Patreon supporter. So if you're a Patreon supporter, you'll be in a future giveaway. I don't actually need all these oscilloscopes. It's just nice to have a look and see what's out there, and you know, if I don't need it, and it hasn't cost me anything, I don't mind giving it away to someone else that does need it. I don't mind doing that, it's, and I'm perfectly happy to do that, as long as it's a genuine need. So I'm thinking about doing it to a Patreon supporter. So if you're a Patreon supporter at some point in the future, when I do the giveaway, then you'll be eligible and I'll give away a oscilloscope. I don't know which one I'm going to give away yet. I, I don't know, but I'll just, it's in my mind at the moment. Now, we'll talk about these. So these are some GPIB cables. These are like stackable ones. I think they're, what are they, 30 centimetres long or something? I actually don't know. Let's find a tape measure. Tape measure found. I've already debagged it. So look, let's go... Uh, end to end connector, shall we? All right, end to end. That is 50 centimeters end to end. So, 50 centimeter cable. I suppose that's what we classified as. So these are stackable as well. So they're male, female, which is quite normal. And I thought I'd get a couple of these because I do want to play around with GPID, but I've got no experience whatsoever with it right now. And as I use a Mac as my main machine, I'm not even sure what the capabilities are truly. I mean, I've got some software. Chucked it on the computer or downloaded some stuff, and I haven't actually used anything yet. I do have a USB to GPIB adapter when I was knockoffs that you can get on eBay. I do have one of those, so I do intend to play around with it. I also got my PC laptop I can use for doing this work as well. But a lot of my gear, like this older gear I pick up, has GPIB on it. A lot of it does, or it has an Ethernet network and you can use that instead, or USB networks or whatever. So a lot of my stuff is controllable in theory. I just don't have a way of doing it or any experience or a clue, really. I don't have a clue. But anyway, before I do anything, I'll, before I'll, I'll get some cables because, I mean, I'm kind of committed. To, I do want to do this, you know, doing logging or whatever you want to do with it. And it's really versatile once you understand how to use it and you're used to using it. And I believe it's probably, it's probably fairly simple. I just need to get stuck into it. But because I don't have a clue, I, yeah, don't, kind of don't know how to start, really. So... Cables, you need cables to start off with. You're going to have to have cables, you know, so I've got some cables. So I've already got some longer ones. I think they're about a metre long or something like that. And so these are half metre, which means I can daisy chain some of my equipment and then hopefully plug the GPIB adapter into that and then run it through a long USB cable to a computer, whichever one I happen to use, and figure out what goes from there. Um, yeah. How hard can it be? <laughs> Famous last words. So if you've used JPIB or HPIB or any kind of networking control of instruments, please chat down below in the comments and give me I don't know, any links you know to any good web pages. Give a nice simple overview of how to set it up on Mac preferably. If not, then sure PC. So if you've got any resources which will make it a bit easier to understand how to set it all up and get it working, then please do let me know down below in the comments. Chuck links down or whatever, even if it's books, you know, if you've got a book or something, online book or ebook or something like that, web pages, whatever, let me know, because I could use all the help I can get. 
yeah. It, it's probably simple, but not simple enough for me. So these are flex cables for something. Hmm. So I've had a bit of a close look at this, and I believe it's a 6S flex. I did buy 6S and 6 at the same time, so I had to try and make sure that you know I identify them. Obviously, yeah. So I've got a 6 which I need to repair, which I'll be doing a video on. Whilst I was there, I thought well, I might as well get some 6S ones because I don't have any 6S ones, and I want to do 6S repairs as well as spares my own phones anyway. This is a 6S one which has got the volume and mute buttons on this side. You've got a microphone and stuff like that up here. I think it might be the flash as well, is it? It might be flash as well. And then you've got power button over here as well. Just there. And this has got one flex connector right here, which hooks it all up. Okay, so the 6 is different. It doesn't have all this side. It's only this side. So it's a bit simpler. So that'd be good when that one turns up. But I need to get this phone fixed once it does arrive because it's, I've had it for about a month now. Yeah, because of delays with parts coming, because of various circumstances around the world, it's not here yet. And I've had the phone for a little while. So, anyway, yeah, these arrived about a week ago. Yeah. There'll be links for these. Okay, here we go. The review item from Mangood. So, we'll be doing a separate video on this. Uh, also, while I'm in shop, let me get my merch. Shirts and stuff. Cups. Like that. And shirts like the one I'm wearing, which you can't currently see. Hmm. Shirts like this. Although you could choose a less gory colour. Back to this. So, let's open it up. I know what's in here. Because I requested it. It's another review item, as I said. Oh, it's got a death adapter to take to it. You always need death adapters. Come in handy. I don't recommend them for long-term use, obviously, because, you know, they're called death adapters for a reason. Temporary solution to work around a shortage of connections. It's an oscilloscope. But what is it? Any more clues? No? No? Oh, look at this. It's a mystery oscilloscope box. Okay, I'll tell you what it is. It actually says it over here. There you go. MDS2112P. What does that mean? No, I guess we'll find out. Alright, let's open it up. I'm not going to power it up this time, I'm going to uh, just show you what I've got because I've got to power up and everything for the first time in the review video when I record that which I might even review today um, so because of my I've got a massive backlog of videos right now okay massive backlog, loads of them and the problem is I've got these things I want to get out, this is a review video I'll record and get it out fairly quickly so then I can get the next review item I'll, I'll try and do that so I'll rotate them which means often what will happen is you'll see the review before you see me receive it in a mailbag which could be confusing don't get confused it's time New Zealand time New Zealand, we're upside down over here um, you know we're down there well um, yeah I don't know you're, uh, yeah we're, we're at the bottom of the earth down here in New Zealand and so time runs backwards here so yeah there's an ex explanation <clears throat> Certainly, a lot of backwards things here. Uh, US power plug, which is no good to me, but it doesn't matter because I don't care. USB power cord. We have a little manual quick start guide thing and a CD. There's probably software on it, possibly electronic manual. We have some probes, 100 megahertz probes. And in here, we have a very small oscilloscope. Well, very thin oscilloscope. I will have a look and just to give you a teaser. How's that sound? Yeah, so I've recently been, oh, the past few months, I've been trying to do budget oscilloscopes. So, you know, open up the options of people. You see, like Dave, for example, who does lots of high end scopes and things like that, but you saw they really nice and high quality and, and kind of, you know, everyone draws over them. But trying to buy one, not quite possible, most people. So that's why I've been trying to do some of these lower end scopes and these cheaper ones. This is a must tool. That's right, a must tool scope. I don't know who manufactures these compared to the other ones I've been reviewing. I mean, it might be the same manufacturer, who knows. I'm going to review this one. So it's two channel, obviously. One a megahertz, one giga sample a second, apparently. Fairly simple button arrangement. There's not that many buttons on here. You know, compared to some other scopes, there's like half as many. That's probably good for someone that's getting to a scope for the first time. 
you know, simplified inf interface, so make it a bit easier to understand. So that's a multi-purpose, not indented, not indented, not indented, not, not. That one's indented, which is the horizontal time base. Yeah, I'll do a proper review on this, so make sure you watch out for that in the future or in the past. Depending on which time zone you're in. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, that sort of stuff. Especially if you want to catch this review. And if you're interested in becoming a Patreon to potentially go in the draw to win a scope, it could be this one, it could be one of the other ones I've reviewed at some point in the future, then make sure you become a Patreon as well. Go and check that out because if unless you become a Patreon, you won't have a chance to actually win one of these things, this one or one of the other scopes, unless you're a Patreon because I'm only going to give away to Patreon in the future, I think. I want to try and boost my patronage. patronage. Patreonage? I don't, know. I don't know. Someone told me. Yeah, I might do it like when I get to a, like a certain Patreon threshold. Maybe I've got, say, 50 Patreons, maybe. I might do that. So once I get to 50 Patreons, maybe I'll do a, a draw then. I think that might be a good way of doing it because obviously it's going to cost you money to post it. And so I need to kind of recoup that by having the financial support of Patreons to, to send that through. So maybe I'll do that. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll do an announcement properly. But for the time being, I'll just give you a heads up that if you're potentially want to win a scope, one of the ones which I've reviewed so far or in the future or in the past, yeah. become a patron and it will give you a chance when I get to a certain threshold, whatever I decide on, it could be 50, could be 60, could be 75, I don't know, it depends on the uptake I suppose, and how much it's going to potentially cost me to post it, then I'll look at doing a giveaway for one of these scopes or maybe even more than one, we'll see, I don't need all these scopes, it's nice to have a couple of cheap ones lying around but I don't need them all, catch you later and I'll see you in a review. Or you have seen me in a view. I... Oh. I'm getting confused. Bye.